Welcome back to another video guys. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the Ethereum price first on the weekly and whether or not the question is, have we faced a definitive trend reversal for the long term? And also I'm gonna be taking a look at the Ethereum price on the hourly and some potential trades that I am looking at as well. So you don't wanna miss this one. Thank you for joining me once again, guys. If you are new to the channel and you do enjoy these videos, hit that like, subscribe, show it some support, and support me supporting you. Hit that like, subscribe, tick that notification bell to stay up to date with all my future videos. Now, the question is, well, is Ethereum or in crypto in general experiencing a trend reversal? And so we're going to visit this firstly on the weekly charts. What I wanna make clear is I am right now on the weekly chart for Ethereum. Now, if we are to chart back right here, we can see that when we're above this white line, which is priced at $1,850 for Ethereum, we can see that ideally the price showed we were in this bull run right here. And you can see when we were below it, we didn't really have much price action in terms of long-term definitive trend reversals since we have experienced Ethereum above $400 or $500 respectively. So this is a pretty crucial level as well, and we're going to evaluate whether or not we are in the clear when it comes to long-term trend reversals. In addition, guys, I want to also take a look on the weekly, and before I start evaluating this descending trend line and where we're sitting in terms of uh, trend reversal, we're going to take a look at the VRVP. This is volume range volume profile. What we can see with this VRVP is that we have a fresh weekly candle that has started only just yesterday, opening up very nicely above this red line. Now this red line is the point of control showing that the most, the highest volume node bar. This is the highest volume traded at this specific price on the chart that we have above. Now the chart we have in front of us is the weekly of Ethereum, and it is showing, as I mentioned, everything or all the price movement past this specific price at around about $1,850 for Ethereum. So the point of control is telling us, yes, we have had a fresh confirmation candle above that point of control, that highest volume node. We may face some resistance or some consolidation on the weekly for the Ethereum price as the next highest volume node is at around $700 for Ethereum. And if we are to draw a line at around that price there, we can see that if we give and take a little bit there, that there is a level of resistance slash support playing out for the Ethereum price. We can see support bouncing multiple occasions on this green line, supporting it here. We can also see if I'm to, to duck or move the chart, you can see, whew, whew, that we have the support playing off there. We also have resistance playing off here, support here, and resistance right here. What we are seeing now is as we are bouncing from this point of control, we will slip through this volume node as it's quite small, and we could face a consolidation on the weekly for the Ethereum price. So when it comes to the VRVP, we are not in the clear by any means when it comes to a definitive trend reversal. Now, let's bring out some other indicators on the weekly because there are many things at play right now. We do have this nice level of support on the weekly, at around here at $1,150 for the, for the Ethereum price. Now I'm not done with the weekly chart at all. We're gonna bring out an exponential moving average and the period of this exponential moving average is actually 50. What we can see with this exponential moving average on the 50, every time that the price was above this, now I'm using Heikenashi candles for smoother trend. In my opinion, this is not yours. Always do your financial research. I'm not a financial advisor. But there is no clear confirmation candle here when we touch this moving average, meaning that there was no definitive break of this 50 period EMA on the weekly. We touched it here, we touched it here, and when we had that confirmation candle below that 50 EMA on the weekly, you can see that the Ethereum price went into an absolute tumble to the downside and we have yet to trade above it. Now, there's no definitive candle above, starting above this red line here as well on the 50 period EMA. This with a Heikenashi candle is not a confirmation candle and does not give rise to a trend reversal right here. A confirmation candle is a fresh candle below the moving average or the EMA. Now, if we are looking where we are for the Ethereum price right now, we have nicely bounced, we come to the apex of this descending um, pattern or this descending trend line right here on the weekly. We had multiple touches right at the tippy top of its all-time high at about 4,888. We had a second touch here at about 3,580. And we had a third touch keeping that trend line well and truly valid at about $1,675 as well. Now what we can see is we have broken above this bearish trend line right here and we are coming up 
We do not have a confirmation candle with this 50 period. This is still tossed up for the weekly. Ideally, what needs to happen if we have a definitive trend reversal sticking to the 50 period EMA on the weekly, we need a fresh confirmation candle to start above this 50 period EMA on the weekly. So that's something to be looking out for as well. Jumping onto the hourly for the Ethereum price, let's take a look at this article from newsbtc.com. The Ethereum price accelerates higher as the bulls aim for $1,720. Let's check that out over on the one hour chart. What we can see is we came into this prior level of resistance from about 1,475 to about 1,550. We are struggling with this level right now, but guys, there's something really important at play right now. We have it a bullish trend line as we touch here. We have one, two touches, keeping it valid right here. We have multiple touches here, and we have just in the last four hours retouch this bullish trend line. This could be quite bullish for the Ethereum price if this trend line is to hold out. However, we are going to explore that through a few indicators. And one of my favorite in indicators is Market Spotter version 5. You can see that right here it signaled a long, short, long, short, and it has confluence with this lower trend line as well. And we can see that we have facing uh, we are facing critical resistance for the Ethereum price on the hourly at $1,585. We can see that it is signaling short. There is confluence with Market Spotter version 5. If you are interested, go ahead, check it out, marketspotter.io. There is four days and eight hours left of their new year sale, 50% off all packages. V5 is quite awesome in my opinion. So check out, do your, your, do your due diligence as well. Now with this bullish trend line, I want to go and check out one of my favorite indicators, which is the Ichimoku cloud. On the hourly, what we can see, and no wonder, we can see the confluence of the cloud offering levels of support as we entered and made confirmation of this upper trend line or this bullish trend line. And what we can see now is we do have a conversion line, the blue down through the red um, baseline, telling us potentially a, a movement to the downside for the price action. However, we are seeing the leading span A, leading span B, computing a cloud that is coexisting with this bullish trend line. What could happen is we could see, yes, that decrease of the price back onto this bullish trend line if it is to hold at 1,541, depending on how quick the next candle moves. Now, the Ichimoku cloud is telling us it, it could potentially keep this bullish trend line in check and what we would be looking for then if it is to keep this trend line in check and bounce as support is this crucial level of resistance at 1,585. So this is really crucial for the Ethereum price and oh, I love my Ichimoku cloud. If you are interested in trading guys, go ahead, check out OKX Exchange. My affiliate link is below. There is multiple benefits to the exchange, whether it be pairs, staking, bots, even copy trading. What you can see in front of me now is a bunch of copy traders. You can go in, research it. You can see what type of trades they're placing, how much leverage they're pl placing it on, and their win rate and loss rate and ratio. You can also do this with a demo account as well, should you want a paper trade. So go ahead and sign up with my referral link. There's bonuses to be had. Check the description below. It's OKX Exchange. Now, if we are to break below this bullish trend line, I am looking at a potential quick short position on the hourly my trade is going to look something like this. Should we break below this uh, bullish trend line right here? We're going to have a nice tight stop loss. I'm looking for that confirmation candle should it appear quite nicely. And I'm going to take the bottom of this due to multiple levels I've just shown. That's a risk to reward ratio of 7.41 and a a potential profit of 3.88%, no leverage, a potential loss of 0.52%. Now, always do your own research when it comes to trading. That's what I'm looking at as well. Now, there is a potential quick long position to be had as well. Should the price come back onto this bullish trend line and bounce, we could have a potential trade if we are to have a confirmation candle above this level right here at 1,550. Should a fresh confirmation candle present itself on a breakout, we could have a nice take profit at the top of this given the high wicks. It's showing that the bulls are trying to drive the price past 1,585 for the Ethereum price. That is a risk to reward ratio of 8.11, a potential loss of 0.26% and a potential gain of 2.1%. This is what I'm eyeing off. These are two essential, really fast trades should confirmation candles present themselves quite nicely. So that's it for today's video. Go ahead, leave a comment below. Are we in the next bull run or is it too soon to tell? In my opinion, I think we need to wait until at least we clear this level here until we are to set new time highs and confirm that we are in a long-term trend reversal. We've experienced multiple times on the weekly already, and this could be just one of them. Anyway, I'll, until then, I'll see you in the next video.